Hey everyone and welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got for Christmas and I'm super duper excited. But before I get started, I don't want this video to come across as me bragging about what I got for Christmas and stuff. Christmas, of course, is more about giving and the togetherness rather than receiving presents. So I just want to get that out there because like, I don't want to like seem like greedy or selfish or anything. So, um, yeah. And I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. And yeah, so let's get started, shall we? So since this channel is, of course, Serena's Toy Room, it's focused around dolls and toys, I'm going to do the toys last. I'm going to do makeup stuff first. So inside this big Mac bag, we have a bunch of makeup that was in my stocking. I'm not going to go through everything because they're just little tiny things, but they're super super awesome and I'm so excited to try them all out. So I got things from little eyeshadow palettes to little mascaras, just little little sample like holiday size things. Super duper excited. I'm really excited for eyeshadow palettes because eyeshadow is my favorite makeup item. I also got makeup wipes but you don't really need to see that. They're just like literally makeup wipes. But I also got this e.l.f. Cosmetics little eyeshadow set that comes with primer, eyeliner, and eyeshadow. So that's pretty cool. And what I'm really excited about is this e.l.f. Spotlight Ready palette, which looks so fabulous and I can't wait to use that. But what actually came in that MAC bag was this, which is their Snowball collection for the, this year of 2017. It is this highlighter and brush set and it is so fabulous. I love the little bag it comes in. It's so cute. And I'm super duper excited. I got to pick it out at the MAC counter and I was like really excited and I couldn't wait to open it, so I can't wait to use this later. There's also a few like other little random things that I got that I'm not really gonna show because I don't think you guys would be too too interested. It's just kind of like stuff like socks and whatever. Um, and But I'm gonna show you like the more interesting stuff because obviously I'm sure you'd be more interested in that. So um, I got this really awesome Britney Spears Fantasy Collection holiday gift set which comes with a perfume, shower gel, roll-on perfume, and body souffle. <laughs> I'm assuming that's like a form of body lotion but yeah. Super cute and of course I love Britney so that's awesome and I'm so glad I finally have one of her fragrances. Um, I also got a few other cute little things in my stocking such as this little bracelet that I picked up at the Dollar Tree because I thought it was really cute, pastel, and fun so like why not. And <laughs> A little fakie My Little Pony because it's cute and pink and fun. <laughs> and as well as this, this is like for Valentine's Day but they had it at the Dollar Tree already. It's just like a cute little pink bear because why not? I also got this Care Bears puzzle and I got these Care Bears and Cousins blind bags. I got three of them and I thought it'd be fun if I did a little like random video of me just opening the blind bags and making the puzzles with you guys. I thought it would just be like a nice little sit down and like chat kind of video. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of fun. So that will be coming in the next few days. Like I've been doing for the past few years, I'm going to be doing one review per day because I like to savor my presence if that makes any sense. Okay, on to what I'm sure you guys are more excited about, the dolls. So, of course it can't be Christmas 2017 without 2017 Holiday Barbie, and I'm so excited I picked her out. I actually picked out like a majority of my Christmas presents as I always do. I picked her out at Toys R Us like weeks ago, and I've been dying to open her ever since. She's super pretty, and I'm going to be doing a review of her today, so stay tuned for that later on. And I also got this puppy surprise because... I'm actually five. <laughs> I really love puppy surprises. Don't judge me. I also have another one so you can check out my review of that if you haven't seen it already and this one can go join my Luna. These next two I opened up yesterday on Christmas Eve. My grandma came over, like my whole family came over for Christmas Eve. That's what we always do every year. And she gave me these presents and I opened them and I was super excited. This is the African American 2016 Birthday Wishes Barbie. She's super pretty and she's very pastel and pink and very much me. She's super cute. And what I was really excited about, there's actually a kind of a story behind this one. Um, there's an antique store by the Valley Village that I always go to and I like to go to that antique store from time to time because they have really cool collector Barbies in boxes there and like in like really cool display cases. 
And I remember one time when me and her went to Value Village, we went next door just to check it out for a little bit. And I was looking at the like Barbies and boxes and I was like looking in awe and I was so into it. And she actually surprised me with this one. 1965 reproduction, but um, she's super, super cute. I'm surprised she remembered. I was looking at this one in the Malibu Barbie reproduction and I was like super in awe. I love vintage Barbies. Of course, I'm like more so into 80s and 90s, but I have a soft spot for the 60s ones as well. And of course, my grandma grew up in that generation, so like it's very nostalgic for her too. And she loves Barbie, so it's kind of like a special thing between us. So it's like very special to me. And I can't wait to review her. She's like one of my favorite presents, I think. The next dolls I have to show you, I'm super excited for, and I have such a fun little idea to do for a review. They are the Powerpuff Girl reboot dolls. I'm not a really big fan of the Powerpuff Girls reboot in terms of the show, but the toys are kind of cute. So I got Bubbles, Buttercup, and Blossom, of course. Who else? And they are so cute. They actually, they're like actual dolls with rooted hair, and I thought they were so adorable. And the Powerpuff Girl toys are unclear at the Toys R Us. So I thought it was a good opportunity. And of course, you can't just get one Powerpuff Girl. Like, you have to have all three. So I got all three, and they're super cute. And I can't wait to review them. They're one of my favorites as well. And last but not least, to join my Holiday Barbie collection is this 2001 Holiday Barbie. She is super pretty. I got her online, and I was going to review her before Christmas, but she came in a little bit later, so I decided to save her for Christmas Day, like a little present from me to me. So um, yeah, I actually also ordered a few things on eBay too, so those will be coming shortly. They're not in this haul video, but I will surprise you with them whenever they come in the mail, so stay tuned for that. And yeah guys, that is my haul for this year. Tell me in the comments what you got for Christmas, and until next time, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys!